What's up guys? So we're kicking the day off, um, last day in Tulum at Burrito Moore. So we want to try this because it's been one of the popular destinations for uh, dining. So we figured why not try it while we're here. So you guys will get some feedback on that as well. Love the vibe here, it's pretty nice. It's uh, currently about 9.40 or 9.50 in the morning. You guys can see the outside of the building. All right, guys, so I definitely know I want a smoothie this morning. Weather is amazing. I think a nice, healthy smoothie would be great to go with breakfast. And you guys can see some of the options. Anti-aging, brain nourishing, digesting, soul nourishing. Interesting. Detox, nice. This guy's is pineapple, papaya, orange juice, turmeric, ginger, and there's one other thing in here that I forget. But you guys, date paste. Date paste. There we go. Alright guys, so the burritos have arrived, so we decided to trade um, a half a piece, so mine is a grilled shrimp, it has shrimp, tomatoes, lettuce, cheese, and this is the pulled pork, pineapple pulled pork, pineapple pulled pork. and I don't know what else is on here, it's rice, beans, avocado. and avocado, and then we have our sauces, this is like a chipotle, chipotle mayo, this right here, habanero sour green. And then this right here is a green sauce. So I'm gonna go in for the shrimp one first. Wrapped in a banana leaf. And let's go with, the first bite we'll go with. Yeah, we'll go with the habanero bite and then we'll do another one with the chipotle. All right guys, here we go. Pretty good. And now let's taste with the other one. This one burst. This one second. Really? This is still good though. But overall, thumbs up. Alright guys, so we just finished our breakfast at Burrito More, and I must say from across the board, from, from the smoothies to the burritos, it was really good, very fresh. Um, just delicious overall. So everyone on YouTube who says it's good and worth going to, it absolutely is. And she especially liked it. What did you say about them? Best burritos I've ever had. Well guys, there you have it. Um, in her opinion, she's one of the, the top food critics in the world. <laughs> Just not in the world that I live in. <laughs> but I do it, eat a lot, so so I do get it. Don't we all? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so now we're gonna head to uh, Cancun. Um, we've kind of done the activities here. Well, we missed a lot. We, we have time. We could go to the Mayan village. Or Cenote. Or cenote, but I kind of just want to go ahead and head towards Cancun, and we can probably hit the pyramids there. So off we go to Cancun, guys. Here we go. All right, guys. So I just want to throw in real quick how much it costs. So it was about thirty U.S. dollars for two people to eat um, there. That's two burritos and two like fresh smoothies. So overall, I would highly, um, I would say it's still very much worth it. And that's kind of like the same price I think you would pay in the U.S. for smoothies and burrito. Um, and especially depending on where you go, it could cost more. Sometimes a burrito, like Chipotle, I think a burrito by itself is like $10. So overall, still worth it. But I know you guys are curious about the prices here. So there you go. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, this is the cenote area when you first walk in. Super cool, loving the nature. Here's the front of it. A lot of uh, plants and super dope. Yeah. Alright guys, so we're in the jungle basically. <laughs> this is super dope. Oh, the ladies right there. I don't give a damn. I'm already in here now. <laughs> yeah, she gonna charge you too. They wanted me to pay extra for my camera. I said, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Okay. Felt great under there. She told me it was cold. It wasn't cold. It felt good. I'm gonna soak on water for a second because I don't be getting, I don't be swimming that often. So for a second, I just be like, <coughs> I be dying. But I gotta, you know, swim back up. I can't be the only. I'm like the only black guy out here, so I can't be stereotypical. I don't even know what I just said. Anyway. Alright guys, so it's about 11.30 and so it's about 35 people here or so, roughly. Um, and this is one cenote, it's super dope back here if you guys, you guys have seen it from the video. I wish I could get you guys some underground uh, water footage, but I don't have a waterproof camera. I forgot to bring my um, action camera and I forgot to buy a GoPro, so unfortunately I can only get you guys surface videos, but it is pretty cool. Uh, first time in like an underground little water thing. That's a note day, and it's dope out here. Out here in the wild, YouTube, there's an iguana. Look at him, a real one. Oh my gosh. Okay, he notices we're here. We're backing up because iguanas used to be dragons, people. Okay. Pose, 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 pose. And work pose. it, in vogue. Okay, seriously, I'm getting away from this iguana. <laughs> All right guys, so we are now in Cancun. It's a lot different uh, feel here already um, versus Tulum. Tulum is definitely like off the beaten path, more of an adventure. Here is kind of like, you know, you're living the uh, the resort luxury life, whatever. So we're at the Canopy by Hilton in the parking deck right now and I have to find, we gotta make our way to the hotel because I do not know how to get to it. So, uh, yeah, try to find it. <laughs> Alright guys, we are at the Hilton Canopy now on the inside, going up the elevator, going to see the room. It's my first time ever staying here. Um, so I'm excited to see what it's like. It looks like a really nice hotel. Um, had great reviews. So, you guys will get the first view. Let me hold up, go back to my card and see what the... Hold up, wait a minute. So I made right. 528. Alright, let's go guys. Hello. 
let's open, get some light. You guys can get a view of, oh wow, guys, we can see the beach from here. It looks so nice. There's the beach right across the street. Open it up this way. Wow, like guys, it's the, it's the views for me. It's the views for me. We can literally see the ocean from right here. Nice, 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 nice. And here is, let's see. Here's the bathroom. I wanna show you guys the pool as well. All right, so I found what I was looking for, which is the fitness center. Let's go. Ain't nobody in here, because everybody's on vacation, passing up on the games, but you know what? I'm fitting to get right here, you know. Dumbbells go to 75, we good to go. We're good. Gotta stay, on, gotta stay in shape even on vacation, so I'ma uh, go change clothes and then come up here and give me a workout in, and then we'll finish up the day. So yeah, more to come, let's go. All right guys, so first time out of the hotel since um, earlier, got a nice workout in. Now it's time for dinner, I am starving. I'm gonna get this place called Taco and Tequila that I uh, just went on maps and looked up. So hopefully it's good. And that'll be that for today. Tomorrow we'll hit the beach. Um, probably knock out a couple other activities. And hopefully I need to have a day where at least I get a little bit of work done on, on my laptop. So I can call this trip somewhat productive. But yeah, well I just see something I wanna see real quick. Alright guys, we're at Taco Tequila, e tequila and this is the sampler plate. So you can see it comes with quite a few different types of tacos. I can't even name all the tacos there are guys, so you have to just look at the menu yourself and see what this is. But it looks delicious and it has great reviews, so I'm going to be going in for a bite in a second. I know y'all probably tired of seeing tacos on this trip, but hey, we're in Mexico, let's get it. Alright guys, so my overall opinion on Taco e te uh, Tequila, so-so, definitely not my favorite tacos on this trip so far had better um wasn't a fan of the type of uh tortilla they used or maybe i don't know if it was that or were they just a sucky version of what they had before either way wasn't a fan so there's my honest opinion on that good morning guys so headed down to breakfast um here at the hilton it's included because I'm a gold member. Perks that have status. Let's go. I think it's a buffet. I think it's all you can eat, but we'll find out in a second. I got some nothing better than free breakfast. Just finished up. Still got some eggs left that I thought I wanted, but I'm stuffed right now. I can't eat anymore. And uh, if I eat too much, I'm gonna want to go back to sleep. So we're getting the day started shortly. So today, last night when I was at the mall, the guy sold me on the activities of uh, signing up for ATV rides. So I'm doing that today, and then tomorrow we're doing a boat ride on uh, um, with this other thing. So it should be super cool. As I was leaving, I recognized I had this little green drink and I want to try it, I was curious. Anytime it's green, you know, like you just need more healthy. So, this drink, it has spinach, orange juice, pineapple, and something else in it, but it's really good, so. I can try it. All right, guys, so we're back from the COVID test and da -na 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 -na. so the results came back negative for both of us. So thank God. So um, that was the most important thing. Obviously, now it's just about hopefully all the tests we got and all that stuff is good for um, getting on the plane. And I'll let you guys know when that, you know, when we cross that bridge. 
but at least the test of the way we came back negative so we don't want, we don't have to stay here and quarantine anything like that um and just for you guys who do travel during covid so um the hotel we stayed at we were able to like kind of talk to the front desk and they were able to point us um to a testing lab it was only 15 dollars per person which was i think 346 pesos a piece and then they also uh, arranged a ride for us. The, the driver came and picked us up, took us there, waited for us, brought us back. And so that was great, very simple. And then now, so we're just gonna, now that we got that out the way, we're gonna, you know, finish up the activities and, uh, you know, life resumes. And we're about to go, where the money resides, where the money resides, where the money resides, where the money resides. If you ain't seen that video, I'm about to post it. <laughs> right, so now a little relaxation at the infinity pool. I'm just gonna step. Ooh, it's a little cold. I'm gonna just put my feet in for now till I get adjusted. Hey. Right, guys so we are on this little uh we're here at the whole shebang so we got uh we're gonna be riding atv zip lining and i think seeing some cenotes so uh yeah you can see we're in the forest again looks pretty dope i'm excited for it Oh. <laughs> what did you say his name was? Nico, I think. Nico. Nico. <laughs> See, there they go, the wild ones. Look. See? That's a big track of them. <laughs> Out here in the forest. <laughs> oh, Crocky. <laughs> he got, he, the actual owner doesn't stay here. Mm -hmm. um, but he stepped in the front. You don't swing? All right, y'all. So this is the second cenote on the adventure, and it's super dope. It's a lot bigger, a lot wider. They have a uh, swing you can zip line into, so it's like super sick out here. You're on camera. It's not <laughs> It's so slimy. Ugh. I told you. Ugh. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, amigo. We need you. I just want to hit my knee again. I know it's slimy. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so this adventure is now over it was mad fun so we did atvs and we zip line like seven times and then we had two cenotes and only for 40 bucks a person so if you ever come to mexico definitely do that yeah i know in america that would be like 300 dollars or more let's go So. <laughs> 
Yo, we got Nico right here. Say what's up, little buddy. Hey. Yo, he's so cute. What's up? Nico, look at the camera. Say hey. Nico. Oh, I wish I could take him with me. He's so cute. Now you can grab it. <laughs> All right, guys. So back at the hotel. Obviously, had a dope day. Highly, highly recommend. If you come to Mexico, I mean, you come to Cancun, do the do the adventure stuff. Like, it's a great deal. I mean, like I said, guys, forty bucks for everything we did. I mean, like for, per person, super great deal. Cause like in the U.S., you go anywhere, it's gonna be way more than that. So to finish of the night. We're tired. We have our activities for tomorrow, which I'll bring you guys along for the last thing we're gonna do here. Um, so you guys will see that as well. But so for the night, we got our room service. We decided to just eat in tonight. Um, it's been a long day, like I said. So right here, this is the uh, sorry. There we go. Tres leches. Mm -hmm. Got the fruit on top. Let me move this little plate. I think honestly, it's my first time ordering room service. Like guys, I'm doing all this for you guys, to be honest just for the youtube so we got our uh angus beef burger right here unfortunately didn't have my ranch then we have two pizzas because they were two for one now hopefully there's not too big okay not too big great so this is the first one i don't remember the name of that and got another one that is meat lovers awesome Ooh. All right, guys, so that ends it for today, and I will. Con you guys will see me tomorrow for the rest of the video. So uh, just give it a second, and you guys will see this tomorrow. I'm not going to end the video here. Yeah. All right, guys, peace out to tomorrow. All right, guys, so um, right now, plans are not going as planned. I really don't have a clue what's going on right now. We're on a ferry, and I don't think this was the original agenda of the day. Like I said, they were supposed to pick us up at the hotel. That didn't happen, so we've been trying to figure it out. Um, and I think they made new arrangements, but I don't know if this is the same thing at all. I really have no clue what we're going or what we're doing, if we're even doing the same activities. So, uh, yeah, we will see what happens because uh, we're on a fair right now. People have luggage and stuff, and uh, that doesn't seem right for just a, uh, a an adventure. So, um, if I end up in a different country or island, and yeah, uh, I don't know what's going on. So, I'll update you guys shortly. Alright guys, so we are in Isla Mujeres. Um, I guess it's a little bit, little island like kind of off Cancun. Got our, uh, well not ours, got my daiquiri. She doesn't drink anything. So I've had two, dos cervezas. Uh, and I want uh, cinco mas. I'm just, just kidding. <laughs> I just said I want five more, right? <laughs> nah, I'm good. But it's the last day here. Um, we leave tomorrow. So really tomorrow we'll be only eating breakfast at the hotel and then getting on the road. It's not the warmest day, it's very windy, so it's not too desirable, but we're here. We're just enjoying the last few um, hours out here. I've enjoyed Mexico. I definitely want to come back, um, visit the pyramids, do more, um, emerge myself, immerse myself more in the culture, and next time I come back, I will know more Spanish. I only uh, habla de un poco, no, habla un poco de español. So I have a lot more to learn, and I would like to be able to speak the language. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and have this drink. We'll have some food shortly. Oh, see, ya, ya tome de hombre, ya. <laughs>